Dent, and my shop is Painter's Corner, and I'm in Republic, Missouri, which is just on the south southwest edge of Springfield, Missouri. So if you're going down I-44 past Springfield going west, just take the Republic exit and go about four miles and you'll run straight into my shop. Be glad to have you stop by and say hi or better yet, take some classes. Go to my website. It's www.dorothydent.com and it has all the information on it that you need. And we also have a, a shopping cart where you can buy uh, books. I have books and pattern packets. We're doing some DVDs. We have lots and lots of packets. I have, this is a sample of one, and I have probably nearly 300 pattern packets. And they have instructions. You have the color picture. You have the, the step-by-steps and everything you need to paint that painting. So look, look for those. We're also doing some DVDs now, and we're producing a lot of these in our shop now. So we'll be having new ones all the time. So if you keep checking the, the website, you'll see what's new. And also, we do books. I have a lot of books. Some of the older books are out of print, but we still have a lot of newer books that are in print. And so we have a lot of these that you'll like to look for and paint from. I know you'll have a good time with them. We get lots of compliments on our books because of the complete instructions and color pictures and patterns. So you'll enjoy those. Also, we have lots of classes at Painter's Corner. We have uh, week-long seminars. We have guest artists in from time to time. Also do one-day classes or two-day classes. A lot of different things going on. Just keep checking that website and going to our class schedule. Our out-of-town schedule, I do a lot of travel teaching. All of that's on the website. I thought today I've got a few minutes and I'd like to do just a little demo so you can have something that you might want to try on your own. I'm going to paint some little bushes and trees. I'm going to use my brushes. I also have a brush line. This is kind of my basic brush set right here. This is my background brush and the small background. I have a, a fan brush. All of these are flat bristle brushes, bristle brushes, and a couple of sables that you might like to use. This is my detail flat. This is a little filbert. Also got a liner. Somehow I guess I didn't grab that one, but that's okay. You know what liners look like. So let's go to uh, my palette, which I've got just a few colors out here. I've got some yellow, cad yellow medium. Uh, this is ultramarine blue. I've got some raw umber, got a little bit of burnt uh, raw sienna. It's kind of crying here. And a little bit of Payne's gray and of course white. These are Martin Weber from Alba colors. I use the, the Weber paints. I like their consistency and their fine quality. I'm going to start out my trees by just doing a base coat. So I'm picking up some of the dark values. With oil paint, you want to start with the darker values. So I'm picking up some of the paints, grays, the blues, the browns, just kind of getting a loose mix of these. And they've come to the canvas and I'm doing a base coat now. These could be bushes, it's kind of off in the distance, or they could be uh, trees or just all of these things are kind of painted the same. But again, you're starting with this dark base and just filling it in. I kind of work on the bottom corner of the brush and get a, a little bouncy stroke that scoots to the side just a little bit. Sometimes I pick up just a little bit of medium. I've got a little bit in a cup here. This is liquid glaze. It's also a Martin Weber product. And it moistens your paint just a wee bit and makes it a little bit easier to work with so that you're stretching that paint out and it also speeds the drying time. I'm getting my trees looking kind of uneven at the top. That's always more interesting to have them a little more uneven so you don't want them to look so straight and flat across the top. So you get a nice little base coat in something like that. And then I'm going to change brushes. We're going to go to the fan brush and I'm going to mix a green. Now when I mix my colors, I'm pulling the paint away from me and I'm picking the blue up and some yellow. And I'm, instead of pulling it toward me, I'm pulling, pushing away. I'm gonna add just a little bit of white to this so I get a light green load up the brush pretty well. 
and come in now with the paint on the top corner of the brush. And you're going to start just a little bit beyond the edge of the tree. And this is a little bit of a push with the corner of the brush, so you're getting a nice little soft look of some light foliage. Reload the brush, come down a little bit. As you're coming down, let it kind of blend into the dark so your colors will mute out, get a mid-tone in there. Now I'm gonna pick up a little bit more paint and start in a different area here and again, get a light edge worked in and then fade back into the shadows. You're, you're fading back into the shadows. See, there's two groups of leaves. So I'm picking up a little more, I'll get these started. See, I start a little bit beyond the dark. It's, it's more of a just a tap with the corner of the brush. Come in here, tap it, fade it back in. So you have, you wind up with a lighter value, some mid-tones, and you still have some dark in there. So I'll carry on and come back here, we'll get another little grouping of trees, leaves. This is your foliage here. Come on around, see that groups it. So you see this kind of grouping of foliage late in the evening, maybe you're driving down the road. Look at the trees and notice how the light hits the outside edges. And then see that creates a nice little grouping of trees that are maybe bushes, whatever. These are trees back in the distance. And if we could come right in under that, I want to grab just a little touch more medium. And let's come on down with a little grass. See, this is little downward strokes with your grass. Rather than going up, I go down. So you're, you're working it like this. And vary your color. Get a little bit darker value in there. And you're coming on down with your grass. Your ground and grass always follow the slope of, of the ground to create your, your grass that has a little sense of direction to it. Some darker values could come in down here. Okay, little quick downward strokes and you just continue on. If you want a little extra texture, you could pick up your paint and have it on top of the brush and then give it a little bounce. See how that throws some light right on top of your base coat. Just a little more white with your yellow. See, and that just pops that light right in through there. I think you'll enjoy working with these brushes and the paint and, and following my techniques as I paint lots of landscapes. Landscape's the most fun thing I like to do, although I do a lot of other things too. But if you want to just try these techniques with your fan brushes and your paint, I think you'll enjoy it a lot. So, glad you had a time to watch this and, and hope to see you in my shop or on the website. Bye-bye. <music>